Welcome to Blueprint IoT. In this video, we will take a look on how to install LT Spice on your Mac, which will be the kickoff video of a whole video series about LT Spice on Mac as well as on Windows to follow later. So make sure to check out the playlist about LT Spice in case you're on Windows or you're interested in the other videos. But let's dive right into it. So to get the LT Spice installation file, you basically just Google LT Spice. LT Spice was recently bought by Analog Devices, or yeah, actually not so recently, but anyhow, it's now part of Analog Devices. So you're totally right by hitting towards the website from Analog Devices. I will click here on this one. This one is sponsored, so I'm not sure if this will pop up every time you Google. But here we go. Getting to the website, accepting some cookies, not done, not signing up to any newsletter. And there you are already. So here you can find your installation file. I will make sure to put in the link in the video description. You can even download it for Windows XP, which is really, really outdated now. But you see it's a great legacy support here. So I will quickly download it for Mac 10.15 and forward, which is also pretty old. And even for before 10.9, you can still find some download links here. So that, that's really great. Anyhow. You just download the file for Mac, save it in my downloads. Should take only a couple of seconds. It's only like around 100 MB, so that will be done quickly. All right, we can close this window. So as soon as your download is completed, just open the file. You will get this nice installation menu, which is quite convenient, I think. As other apps don't do this. So of course you need to agree to the terms of use need to have enough space available, 133 MB. I think this is super tiny for software these days, especially for such a, yeah, in theory, powerful software. You'll hit install. You will have to enter your credentials. I skipped through this part quickly. You need obviously to allow the access to the certain folders, in this case documents, where the app will go. And there we go, it's installed. You can move directly the file to bin or keep the file, but yeah, since it's freely available from everywhere, let's just go ahead. Sometimes I tend to save those files, but anyway, we are done. So let's open LT Spice. We will head over to Launchpad and there it is already, LT Spice. And it should only take a couple of seconds and there we are. Some people get confused. Why is this application not starting? Actually, it started. That's how it looks like. So now we're getting a little bit into the LT Spice on Mac. To be very honest, I'm a big Mac fan for several reasons, but there is one, one software, one application in particular that's really horrible on the Mac and that's LT Spice. So I'm doing those videos in case you're struggling yourself with LT Spice on the Mac and it's really hard to get around with it. So I think it's really helpful to get a quick explanation of how to get to all the functions. That's why we're having, we will have this video series for Mac specifically and also for Windows separately because also, even though it's the same software LT Spice, the interface is like completely different on, on Windows and even functionalities are different. So if you have the choice, I would really recommend you to work with LT Spice on a Windows computer. If you don't, then just use on a Mac. It's totally usable, don't get me wrong. And actually, as soon as you're getting used to a little bit of working with the shortcuts, it's actually quite good to work with. But um, yeah, the interface, especially like the, the graphical user interface is just horrible. So anyway, but it's for free, so we can't complain, to be honest. Anyhow, that's how the software looks like when you start. You can start new blank schematics here, or obviously you can go to file and then new and so on. We can't press the button here right now, which is again, super weird. Anyhow, we can press it here. So there we go. And now I think we can, yeah, add and start a new one from there. So that's how it looks like, how the, basically how to operate it will be part of the next video. We'll keep this nice and short. So see you next time. And thanks for watching in the meantime.